Hello, today I'm going to give you an overview of what a research paper is and what it is not. You may have one of these on the syllabus for a class and be thinking, what does that mean exactly? What is the expectation? While each professor in class is different, and there will be more detailed instructions from your professor, every research assignment has common themes. Think of this video as a map. Your professor will be the one to tell you the step-by-step -step directions of how to get to your destination, but the library is here to show you the distance and the possible routes to completion. A research paper is not a summary or overview of a topic. It's also not a book report or an opinion essay. Rather, the essential structure of a research paper involves making a claim, most often a persuasive or informative claim. Then you demonstrate that you have read what other people have said about this idea, and you weave research into your paper structure to support your point. To finish, you remind your audience what the claim was and or inspire them to perform a task or reconsider an assumption. With a research paper, you will need to be in tune with the academic conversation surrounding your claim or topic. Academic research is written by the people who study specific things for a living. They could be professional educators or psychologists or scientists who also do research and then publish their findings and ideas for others to read. Part of your task will be to find relevant, believable, verifiable evidence, usually in the form of articles, from educated individuals and incorporate those ideas into your paper. These will likely be complex ideas that will take time to read and understand. No one is expecting you to become an expert on nuclear energy, for example, but to at least understand how it works and what the issues are with developing it. So give yourself time to manage your research and writing process. The library and the writing center are here to help you. Depending on the type of paper, you may want to check out some other suggested videos we have about thesis writing and forming a research question. While those activities might seem like busy work, they are incredibly worthwhile in focusing your ideas in the scope of what you want to do. Many students begin their research journey with a conclusion in mind, which is not really the purpose of a research paper. The purpose is to explore ideas, not to simply read research you may agree with. You may need to engage with new ideas, find experts that you disagree with, and unpack from statistics or data, depending on your topic. Format is something that you should receive more instructions on, and is also something the Writing Center can help you with. If you see something in your syllabus that says, write a research paper in APA style, that is talking about the physical structure of the paper, the sections of your paper is supposed to have, and what order the sections are in, as well as what citation style you should use, to let your reader know where you got your evidence. You might wonder why you need to write a research paper and look at all these sources that you may never need again. Well, similar to, say, a math requirement, writing a research paper helps you to practice organizing your thoughts, anticipating an argument, and finding or using verifiable evidence to support your ideas. Those are important skills in any field, and ultimately, those are the skills this assignment will help develop. Again, this is an overview of what this assignment is and could mean. As you get more into the assignment, your professor will guide you through the steps giving you the directions to get to that destination. Remember, the library is always here to help you with your research along the way.